May the grace of me a sinner, the mercy of the grace of me a sinner, the mercy of the grace of me a sinner. Blessed is our God, always now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to your God, glory to you, O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of truth, you who are present in all places and filling all things, the treasury of good things and giver of life, come and dwell within us, cleanse us of every stain, and save our souls a good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And let us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For that is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Και το σόν φυλάτων δια του Σταυρού σου πολίτα, Βαδό Ξαπατρί, και η όκη Αγίο Πνεύμα, τι ο ύψο τη Αντό Σταυρό Εποσίω, τι επωνύμου σου κοινή πολιτεία, του εκτιμού σου δόρισε Χριστέ ο Θεό. Έφρανον τη δυνάμει του πίσω Βασιλή Σιμών, νίκα χορηγών αυτή κατά των πολεμίων τη Σιμασχία, έχει εν την Σινόπουλη Ειρήνη, σαν των τρόπεων, και νυν και εν και ει του αιώνα των αιώνα μην προστασία φοβερά και κατέστη μη παλιδή αγαθή, τάση και εσύ Σιμών πανίμνητε Θεοτό και στήριξον Ορδόξον πολιτεία. Σώζεου και έλεψε βασιλεύει και χορηγεί σε αυτή σου ανώθεν την νίκη. Διότι έτε και στον Θεό μόνοι ευλογημένοι. Have mercy, Nessa God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for all pious and Orthodox Christians. Have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for Archbishop and Father Sava. For your merciful God who loves mankind, and to you we give glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Glory to the holy consubstantial life giving an undivided eternity always now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Δόξα εν ύψιστη θεό και επηγή ειρήνη αν ανθρώπου σε ευδοκία. Δόξα εν ύψιστη θεό και επηγή ειρήνη αν ανθρώπου σε ευδοκία. Δόξα εν ύψιστη θεό και επηγή ειρήνη αν ανθρώπου σε ευδοκία. Κύριε τα χείλη μου ανοίξει και το στόμα μου αναγγελεί την ένεσή σου. Κύριε τα χείλη μου ανοίξει και το στόμα μου αναγγελεί την ένεσή σου. Κύριε τι επρίνθησαν οι θλιβοντέ με πολύ επεπνέστη να πεμέ. Πολύ λέγωση τη ψυχή μου ότι ούκα τη τρία τι αυτή εκ των θεών αυτού. Σίδε κύριε αντιλήπτορ μη δόξα μου και ψών την κεφαλή μου φωνή μου προ σε κύριο και άκραξα και ξέ με εξόρου αγίου αυτού. Εγώ δε κοιμήθην και ύπνο θα εξηγήρθεν ότι κύριο αντιλήψε τέμι που φοβηθήσω με από μεριάδων λαό το κύκλο συνεπιτεθόμενων μη. Ανάστα κύριε σώσον ο Θεό μου τη επάταξη πάντα στου εχθρού μη. Ματέω ο δόντα αμαρτωλών συνέτριψε. Του κυρίου η δόξα και επί των λαών σου ευλογία σου. Εγώ κοιμήθην και ύπνο θα εξηγήρθεν ότι κύριο αντιλήψε τέμι. O oh Lord, do not rebuke me in your wrath, nor chasten me in your anger, for your arrows are fixed in me, and your hand rests on me. There is no healing in my flesh because of your wrath. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins, for my transgressions rise up over my head like a heavy burden, and are heavy on me. My wounds go foul and fester because of my folly. I suffer misery, and I am utterly bowed down. I go all the day long with a safe, sad face, for my lungs are filled with markers, and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and greatly humbled. I wrote because of the building of my heart. O oh Lord, all my desires be for you, my goodness, and I hate from you. My heart is troubled, my strength fails me, and the light of my eyes and this is not with me. My friends and neighbors draw near and stand against me, and many have consented for all. And those who seek for my soul use violence, and those who seek evil for me speak folly, and they meditate on to see all day long. But I like a deaf man do not hear, and I am like a mute who does not open his mouth. I am like a man who does not hear, and who has no reproach in his mouth. For you, O Lord, I hope you will hear, O Lord, my God, for I said, let not my enemies rejoice over me, for when my foot was shaken, they boasted against me. For I am ready for wounds, and my pain is continually with me, for I will declare my transgression, and I will be anxious about my sin. But my enemies live and are become stronger than I, and those who hate me unjustly are multiplied. Those who repeat me evil for good slander me, because I pursue righteousness, and they threw away my blood as they were a sticky corpse. Do not forsake me, Lord my God, do not depart from me, give me the help of my salvation. Do not forsake me, Lord my God, do not depart from me. Ο Θεό, ο Θεό μου προσεωρθίζω, η δίψη μου, η ψυχή μου, πω απλώ ω άξον, γύρω γύρω και αβάτη και ανίδρο. Ούτω εν το αγίο φθιν σου, την δύναμη σου και τη δόξα σου, ότι κρίσουν το ελαιό σου υπερζωά. Τα χείλη μου επενέσου έρση, ότι ευλογήσω εν ζωή μου και το ονόμα τη σου αρώτα χείρε μου. Πω εξτέατο και ποιότητα εμπιστεί η ψυχή μου και χίλια γαλιάσου, ω να άσει το στόμα μου. Η έμνη μόνο ευώνε επί τη στρώμη μου, εν τρίθισε 
εν τη όρθρη σε μελέτων σε ό,τι εγινή τη βοηθό μου και εν το σκέπτο πτυρίγου αγαλιάσουμε. Εκολούθη η ψυχή μου πίσω μου, μου δεν λάβε το δεξιά σου. Αυτή δεν την μάτινε έτσι στην ψυχή μου, εσαλεύσονται ει τα κατώτατα τη γη, παραδοθήσονται ει χείρα τρομοφαίω, μερίδε άλλο που έκανα ίσονται. Ο δε βασιλέ, αφρανθήσατε επί το Θεό, απενεστήσετε το παν, ο ομνίων εν αυτό, ότι είναι φράγιστο, μαλαλούν τον άδικα. Εν τη όρθρη σε μελέτων σε ό,τι εγινή τη βοηθό μου και εν τη σκέπτο πτυρίγου σου αγαλιάσουμε. Εκολούθη η ψυχή μου πίσω μου, μου δεν τα λάβε το δεξιά μου. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to your God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Doxus of Theos. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Doxus of Theos. Kirillation, kirillation, kirillation. Doxa patri ke yo ke yo pneuma de kinin ke in kis to onas to me on amin. O Lord God, my salvation, I pray day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you and come here to my supplication. O Lord, for my soul is filled with solace and my soul trusts in the Hades. I am counted among those who go down to the pit. I am like a helpless and I fear among the dead, like slain men thrown down and sleeping in the grave, in whom you remember no more. But they are removed from your hand. They lead me in the lowest pit of dark places in the shadow of death. Your wrath rests on me. You brought all your bills over me. You removed my acquaintances far from me. They made me an abomination among themselves. I was betrayed. They did not go forth. My eyes weaken from poverty, O oh Lord, I cried to you the, the whole day long. I spread out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead, or will physicians raise them up and acknowledge you? Shall anyone in the grave describe your mercy and your truth and destruction? Shall your wonders be known in darkness and your righteousness in a forgotten land? But I cried to you, O oh Lord, and in the morning my prayers should come here to you. Why, Lord, do you reject my soul and turn away your face from me? I am poor and troubles from the youth. But having been exalted, I was humbled and brought into despair. Your fierce anger passed over me, and your tears greatly troubled me. They compassed me like water all the day long. They surrounded me, I want to remove far from the name. For my acquaintance is because of my misery. O oh Lord God of my salvation, I pray day and night before you, and my prayer come before you, and come near to my supplication, O Lord. Ευλόγη η ψυχή μου τον κύριο και πάντα τα εντό μου το άνομο το άγιο αυτού. Ευλόγη η ψυχή μου τον κύριο και με επιλάμπτω πάστα να τα αποδώσει αυτού. Τον ευηλατεύοντα πάση τη ανομία, τον ιόμενο πάση του νόσου, τον λυτρούμενο εχθρά, τη ζωή σου, τον στεφανούντα σε ένα λέκι εκτρεμή. Τον εμπιπλώντα να αγαθεί στην επιθυμία σου, να κινείστε σε όσα αιτού είναι ό,τι σου. Ποιόν ελέημο είναι ο κύριο και κρίμα πάση σε δικουμένη σε γνώριση. Τα σου δούσε αυτού το Μωησί τη Ιη Ισραήλ τα θελήματα αυτού. Υπτήρμον και ελέημον ο κύριο μακρότιμο και πολύ ήλιο. Που Χριστέλο οργήσεστε ουδέ στον αιώνα μην ιού κατά τη μαμία σημών επίη εν ημίν που δέκα τα δεσαμαρτία σημών αντεπέδο και εν ημίν. Ότι κατά το ύψο του ουρανού από τι γη σε κρατέω ο κύριο το έλεο αυτού επί του φοβουμένου αυτών. Καθώ αναπέχου στην Ανατολέα ποδισμό είναι μάκρυ να αφημώντα ανομία σημών. Καθώ η κτήρη πατήριου ο κτέρισε κύριο του φοβουμένου αυτών. Ότι αυτό έγνω το πλάσμα ημών νήσι ότι που σε έσμεν άνθρωπο ο σιχόρτο σε ημέρα αυτού. Ο σιανθό του αγρού του εξανθήσει. Ότι πνεύμα διήλθεν εν αυτό και ούχη υπάρξει και ούχη επιγνώστη επί τον τόπο αυτού. Το δε έλεσαι του κυρίου από, τους, από του αιώνο και έω του αιώνο από του φοβουμένου αυτών. Και δικαιοσύνη αυτού επί ίση ιών τη φυλάσσου στη διαθήκη αυτού και μεμνημένη των εντολών αυτού του ποιήσε αυτά. Κύριο εν του ουρανού ετοίμασε τον θρόνο αυτού και η βασιλεία αυτού πάντων δεσπόζει. Ευλογείται τον κύριο πάντε οι άγγελοι αυτού δυνατοί ισχύει ποιούντα τον λόγο αυτού. Που ακούσε τι φωνέ των λόγων αυτού. Ευλογείται τον κύριο πάσε δυνάμει αυτού. Λειτουργεί αυτού ποιούντα τα θελήματα αυτού. Ευλογείται τον κύριο πάντα τα έργα αυτού εν παντή τόπο τη δεσποτεία αυτού. Ευλόγει η ψυχή μου τον κύριο εν παντή τόπο τη δεσποτεία αυτού. Ευλόγει η ψυχή μου τον κύριο. Ο Λόρι, hear my prayer, give it a most of occasion in your truth, the answer in your righteousness. <coughs> and do not enter into judgment with your servant, for no one living shall become righteous in your sight, for the enemy persecuted my soul. He humbled my life to the ground, he caused me to dwell in dark places as one long dead, and my spirit was in anguish within me. My heart was troubled within me. I remember the days of old, I meditate on all your works. I meditate on the works of your hands, I spread on my hands to you, my soul face for you like a waterless land. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit face within me. Turn on your face from me, let's be like those who go down to the pit. Cause me to hear your mercy in the morning for you, I hope. Make me know, Lord, the way and where I should walk for a little of my soul to deliver me from enemies, O Lord, to let me for brethren, teach me to do your will. For you are my God, you are good spirit, guide me in the land of the brightness. For your name's sake, Lord, give me life and your righteousness, you shall bring my soul out of affliction. In your mercy, you shall destroy my enemies, you shall utterly destroy those who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Answer me in righteousness, O Lord, and do not enter into judgment of the servant. Answer me in righteousness, O Lord, and do not enter into judgment of the servant. Be good spirits of God, be in the land of your brightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, but not forever, to the age of the ages of men. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Alleluia, 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 glory to God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Oh, O Lord, glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God. 
let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For pious and Orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For Archbishop and Father Salvis, the Honorable Presbyterate, for the Diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our country, for the President, for all those in public service, and for the armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. For this city, for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. For a favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, and from the peril of the coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our brethren, those who lead the fight against the coronavirus, the doctors, the medical workers, and the scientists, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us. Save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Glory and mercy. Commemorating our all holy, pure, most Holy's blessed Lord and glorious Lord Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Σομολογήστε το Κύριο και επικαλείστε το όνομα του Άγιον αυτού. Θεός Κύριος και επέφανεν ημίν, ευλογημένος ορχομένος εν ονόματι Κυρίου. All the nations surrounding me, but in the name of the Lord I defend myself against them. God is the Lord, and He revealed Himself to us. Blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord. Para Kiriu again at wafti kesti thaumasti and of the Messimon. Theos Kirios kepe faneni min. Evlogimenos or komenos en onomati Kiriu. Let the heavens sing for joy, and let everything on earth be glad. For with his arm the Lord has worked power. He trampled death underfoot by means of death. And he became the firstborn from the dead. From the mall of Hades he delivered us. And he granted the world his great mercy. Doxa patrike o kia hi opnemati, i martire su kirie, and the adlisi of don, Stephanus a comisa to tis aftarsia sexu, to theu imon, skondes gardinis hitsu, to stiranus kathilon. Έτρεψαν και δαιμόνων τα νησχύρα θράση. Αυτόν δε σύ και εσύ εσχριστέ ο Θεός, σώσοντας ψυχάς ημών. Now and ever into the ages of ages, amen, ο Θεοτόκος του Ιού, became manifest to us on earth the mystery, which was hid from eternity, and which the angels themselves knew not. The God uniting natures without confusion becomes a man and accepts crucifixion for our salvation voluntarily by virtue of this resurrecting man whom he had first created, he saved our souls from death. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, your mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, Commemorating our all holy, pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. For yours is the dominion, yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Christos ek nekron egigerdei aparchiton gekimimenon. Ο πρωτότοκος της κτήσεως και δημιουργός πάντων των γεγονότων Την καταφθαρίσαν φύσιν του γένους ημών Ναι αυτό ανεκαίνησε Που και στη θάνατε κυριεύεις Ο γ' 
άρχον όλων δεσπότη στο κράτο σου κατέληξε. Glory to the Father and to the Son to the Holy Spirit. When you had physically tasted that the Lord you curtailed its bitterness by your resurrection, then you strengthened humanity against it by reversing the fall, the failure related to the primal curse. O defender of our life, glory to you, O και στου αιώνα των αιώνων να μην σε την μεσητεύσα σαν την σωτηρία του γένου Σιμών. Αν υμνούμε θεότο και παρθένε, εν τη αρκή γαρτί εξού προσληφθήσει ο ιό σου και θεό Σιμών. Το διασταυρού κατά δεξάμενο πάθο. Ελίτρο το ημά εκθορά ω φιλάνθρωπο. That your divinity is immutability, and that your suffering's intentionality. Amaze was hid his own Lord, and thus lamented to itself and said, I tremble at this human frames uncorrupted hypostasis. I see the invincible one waging war on me secretly. Hence those whom I am holding are crying out, Glory to your resurrection, O Christ. Doxa Patrike, O Kia, ye of Nevmati, to a catalyp, don't do this the brosseos, can ermin of don't do this a gerseos, theologumeni pistina pori don mysterion, simeron garthanatos, keoadis skilefte, genos de anthropinon of Tarsian and the diete. Ο και ευχαρίστω κραυγάζομεν, δόξα Χριστέ τη Αναστάση σου. Κέρι μυστικοί, within your womb, the one incomprehensible, uncircumscribable, and coessential with the Father and the Spirit of Mother of God. By your giving birth, we know that the Trinity's energy, singular and unconfused, in the world should be glorified. Therefore, in thanksgiving, we cry to you, rejoice, O Lady, full of grace. Λόγι το σε κύριε διδαξών με τα δικαιώματα σου, τον αγγέλων ο Δήμος κατεπλάγει ορών σε νεκρής λογιστέντα, του θανάτου δε σωτήρ την ισχύν καθελόντα, και συνέ αυτό τον Αδάμε γύραντα, και εξάδου πάντα σε ελευθερώσαντα. Blessed are you, O Lord, to each me your statutes. Why do you mingle the ointments with your tears full of pity, O woman, disciples? Bless the angel who was shining in the tomb, cry to the mere bearing one, and save for yourself the empty tomb, and understand that the Savior has risen from the sepulchre. Λόγι το σε κύριε διδαξόν με τα δικαιώματα σου λίαν πρωί μυροφόρη έδραμον προς το μνήμα σου θρηνολογούσε αλλά πέστη προς αυτάς ο άγγελος και είπε θρηνού ο καιρός πεπαυτέ μη κλαίτε την Ανάσταση δε Αποστολής είπατε Δόξα Πατρί και Υιό και Αγίο Πνεύματι προσκυνούμεν Πατέραν και τον τούτον Υιόντε και το Άγιο Πνεύμα την Αγία Τριάδα εν μια τη ουσία συν της Σεραφήμ κράζοντας το Άγιος Αγίος Άγιος η Κύριε Αλληλούια, 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 δόξα σε ο Θεό. Αλληλούια, 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 glory to you, O Lord. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Glory and mercy. Commemorating our all holy, pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, Jesus, the Father, Ocos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. 
For blessed is your all holy name and glorified is your kingdom, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Εγύρθε και νόσα στα μνήματα τη φθορά, αλλιωτήν γνώτα των νολίων των είπατε το Θεό, ω φοβερά τα έργα, ω ή ότι το γένο έσωσα των ανθρώπων. Να, να, την εκμαλωσή, ο τσιό, εσύ εξήλου εκπροπαπού, τα πιλόνα, σκαμέντο, εκπατώ, εμπροζωή, να κυρίσω νόικα. Εν το νότο, ει πυροντέ, να κρίζει, να ενθέει. Θεριούσε τα χειά σε χαρά η ζωή. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the Holy Spirit, as in the Father and the Son, many and intrinsically, every gift of goodness, and in Him all things both live and move. Εάν η κύριο οικοδομήσει οίκον των αρετών, μα την κοπιόμε, την εψυχή σκεψάντα σου δυσίμων πορθείτε την πόλη. Ο Christ, the fruit of the womb by the Spirit, are the saints forever as adopted sons to you as to a father. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And ever and to the ages of ages, amen. Αγίο πνεύμα, τι ενθωρείτε πάσα, Αγίο τη σοφία. Ουσιν πάσαν γαρκτήσιν Αυτό λατρεύσομεν Θεός γάρος Πατρίτε και λόγο Those who fear the Lord are blessed They will walk in the ways of the commandments For they will eat every kind of vivifying produce Κύκλο της τραπέζης σου εφράνθητη Καθορών σου πήμεν αργά Και αέγνοντα φέροντα κλάδους Αγαθώ εργία Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit For now and ever and to the ages of ages of man When the Holy Spirit is all the wealth of, with the Holy Spirit is all the wealth of glory. From Him is your grace and life to all creation. For He is extolled with the Father and the Logos. He put it in this earth, and see what He created. He was filled with joy and glory. God told us that in Him we are not alone. He is our refuge. Say among the Gentiles, the Lord is King. For He established the world, which shall not be shaken. As the Lord created. Η πατία τη έθνηση ο τικύριο σε βασίλευσε και καρκατόρθωσε την οικουμένη. Η τιούσα λευθύσε τε. Έτσι και έτσι είναι η ειρήνη του κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Αντιλαβούσε όσων ελέησαν και διαφύλαξαν η μάσα θεό τη η χάρη τη. Σπαναγία Αχράντου υπερβολημένη εν δόξα τη ποινή Σιμών Θεοτόκου και αϊπαρθένου Μαρία. Με τα πάνω των ημνήμων έφυσαν δε σε αυτού και αλλήλου και πάσαν οι ζωήν ημών. Πιστώ το Θεό παραθώμεθα. Συγκύρια. Σιγάρι ο βασιλεύ τη ειρήνη και σωτήρ των ψυχών ημών. Και σε την δόξα να λαμπέμπουμε. Πατρίγει και του Ιώκη του Αγίου Πνεύμα την ίν και αή και ει του αιώνα των αιωνών. Αμήν. From the tomb you rose today, O Lord of tender compassions, also from the gates of death you let us out, O our Savior. On this day is Adam dancing and Eve rejoices and with them together patriarchs and the prophets are unceasingly extolling the divine power of your authority. Extolling the divine power of your authority. Let heaven and earth dance for joy today and in oneness of mind extol Christ God for he resurrected the prisoners from their tombs. All creation rejoices together offering worthy songs to the creator of all and our redeemer. For today is the giver of life having drawn mortals up from Hades. He exalts them to heaven together and lays a curse on the enemy's haughtiness and smashes the gates of Hades by the divine power of his authority. He smashes the gates of Hades by the divine power of his authority. On October 30th, we commemorate the holy martyrs Zenobius and Zenobia, the siblings. On this day, we commemorate the holy hero martyr Marcion, bishop of Syracuse, a disciple of the apostle Peter. On this day, we commemorate the holy martyrs Alexander, Crote, and Julian Marcus, and thirteen others. On this day, <coughs> we commemorate the holy martyr Evropia. On, On this, this day, day we, we commemorate the holy apostle Cleopas, and as well as our devout father Joseph, patriarch of Constantinople, and also the holy martyrs Asterius, Claudius, Neo, and sister Neonila. On this day, we commemorate the holy apostles Tertius, Mark, Justus, 
our temas of the seventy, by the intercessions of your saints of God, have mercy on us. Amen. Amazed was the universe by your divine magnificence, you who were perpetually virgin, carried the heavenly God of all in your womb, and gave birth to the eternal Son, who awards salvation to all who sing hymns of praise to you. And after the pandemon, the Londes, the Ordini, the Ophrones, the Steumitoros, the Tetas Giras, Crotisomen, Don Exaptis, the Xen, the Theon, Luxas, on the God we minded, we did not adore the created things in the Creator's that rather disdaining the thought of far they trampled it and joyfully they sing, O Supreme. Exalted Lord and God of the fathers, you are blessed. In omen of love, omen, broskin, omen, don girion, beda se vagis en di camino, o tocos tis neotoku di esosato, tote men di pumenos, ninde energumenos, tin ecumenia pasan, a giripsalusan, don girion, imnite ta erga. Κυρίου Δεϊθόμε, ότι Άγιος ή ο Θεός ημών και να είσαι πάνω από άδει και σε τη δόξα να πέμπομεν του Πατρή και του Υιό και του Αγίου Πνεύμα την νίκη αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιωνών. Αμήν πάσα πνοή ενέσα το τον Κύριο. Let everything that prays praise the Lord. Ενέσα το πνοή πάσα τον Κύριο. Και η πρέτη καταξίω την ημάς της ακροάς σου ας του Αγίου Ευαγγελίου Κύριε το Θεόν ημών και τεύσω με Σοφία ορθή ακούσμεν του Αγίου Ευαγγελίου ειρήνη πάση Εκ του κατ' Ιωάννην Αγίου Ευαγγελίου τον άγνωσμα Πρόσχομεν On the evening of the first day On the evening of that day, the first day of the week The doors being shut where the disciples were for fear of the Jews Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you, as the Father has sent me, even so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you remit the sins of any, they are remitted. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see in his hands the print of the nails and place my finger in the mark of the nails and place my hand in his side, I will not believe. Eight days later, his disciples were again in the house and Thomas was with them. The doors were shut, but Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. And he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands and put out your hand and place it in my side. Do not be faithless, but believing. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of the disciples which are not written in this book. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. And that believing you may have life in his name. Θεασάμενη προσκυνήσω με Άγιον Κύριον Ιησούν τον μόνον των αμάρτητων Τον Σταυρό σου Χριστέ προσκυνούμε και την Αγία Ανάσταση Υμνούμε και δοξάζουμε Σιγάρι Θεός ημούν εκτός σου άλλου Και δομέν το όνομά σου ονομάζομαι 
Δεύτερη πάντα σε πιστή προσκυνήσω με την του Χριστού Αγίαν Ανάσταση. Η Δούκα ρίλθε δια του Σταυρού χαρά ενώ του κόσμου. Δια παντό ευλογούνται στον κύριο νυμνούμε την ανάσταση αυτού. Σταυρών γαρυπομήνα δίμα, θανάτου θάνατον όλε σου. Αλλαγίνια, δαρίσον με αυτό κατά το μεγαλεό σου. Κατά το το πλήθο των ηχημών σου εξάδεψον το ενόμημά μου. Λίον πλήνων με από τη ανομία μου και από τη αμαρτία μου καθάρισον με. Σίμωνα η μαρτών και το πονηρό ενώπιον σου επίσα. Όπω αν δικαιωθεί εν τη λόγη σου και νικήσει εν το κρίνε θέσε. Μου γαραλήθεια ανοιγάπησα στα άδειλα και τα κρύφια τη σοφία σου εδήλωσα μη. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will teach your scriptures, your ways, and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Ήσα με εξαιμάτων ο Θεό, ο Θεό τη σωτηρία μου. Αγκαλιάσετε η γλώσσα μου την δικαιοσύνη σου. Ότι θέλει σα τη σία να δοκάν, ολοκαυτώματα ούκε ευδοκίσει. Γάθινον κύριε τη ευδοκία σου την σιών. Και οικοδομηθεί το τατύχη Ιερουσαλήμ. And you will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings and over and offerings. Τότε αν Ιησούς είναι επί το θυσιαστήριον σου μόσχος, και λέησον με ο Θεόν. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. At the intercession of the apostles, O Lord of mercy, blot out my many offenses. <speaking in Hebrew> Save your people and bless your inheritance. Look upon your word with mercy and compassion. Raise the Orthodox Christians in glory and shower us with your abundant mercies. Through the intercessions of our most pure lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, by the power of the precious and life giving cross, the protection of the honorable Bibleless powers of heaven, supplication of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner John the Baptist, the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles of our fathers among the saints, the great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, based of the great Gregory the theologian and John Chrysostom. Thanasius and Cyril, John the Merciful, Patriarchs of Alexander and Nicholas, Bishop of Myra and Lysias, Spirit of Bishop of Dimethus, Nicodius of Pentapolis, John Maximovich of Shanghai and San Francisco, Seraphim of Sarov, the Wonder Workers, the Holy Glorious Great Martyrs, George the Victorious, the Mirtrus, the Myrrh Flowing Theater, the Recruit Theater, the Commander, Minas, the Wonder Worker, Haradamus and Lefthadius, the Priest Martyrs, the Holy Glorious Great Martyr, and all audible infamy of the Holy Glorious Martyr. Martyrs of Tecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Gideon, Keith, Montanid, Marina, Pascivi, Irene, Markella, of Kios, the Holy, Glorious, and Victorious Martyrs, our Righteous and Godly Ascetic Fathers, Joseph the Hezekist, 
Dionysius of Zacchaeus, Sermon of Alaska, and Maximus the Confessor, the Holy Righteous Ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of the Holy Joseph of the Patriarch of Constantinople, Zenobia and Zenobios the Martyrs, Cleopas and Artemis, the Apostles of the Seventy, whose memory we commemorate today, and of all the saints. We beseech you, only merciful Lord, hear us sinners who pray to you and have mercy on us. Lord, you have mercy, Lord, you have mercy, Lord, you have mercy. Ya Rabbur Ham, Ya Rabbur Ham, Ya Rabbur Ham. Ya Gospuri Pumi Loi, Gospuri Pumi Loi, Gospuri Pumi Loi. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our all holy, pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. For all the powers of heaven praise you and offer glory to you, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Υψωτε, 
των θύρων όσης ήλθες, τους Αποστόλους έπλησας πνεύματος Παναγίου, ειρηνικός εμφυσίσας, εις δεσμήν τε κελήν, τας αμαρτίας ήρικας και οκτώ μέθη μέρας την συμπλευρά. Υπέδειξας και τα σχήρας με θουβόμεν Κύριος και Θεός υπάρχεις. All you made your vestments redder by your sacred blood, O blessed one, and now you stand in the presence of Christ the Savior rejoicing. O God, it's by your higher heart, sin will be is entreating him. On our behalf, together with sin, will be I, your own sister, the martyr and sacred virgin. Σε κύποτον και τράπεζαν, προφήτε προηγόρευσαν, σταμνών και ράβδων και όρος και το μονέ γεγράμενον, παλάτιον και κλίμακα και γεφυράν μετάγουσαν, εις ύψος θείας νόσεως, εμείς δε σε ο τόκον αξίωσαν οι θυμνούμεν. Να έναν πάσαν νόη εν εσάτων τα κυρίαν εν Η 
Nite afdon ani kosal pingos nite afdon en psal tirio ke kizara en dofoti sudes pota abzo metha fos filantrope anestis garekton ekron satiria to geni ton antropon lorumenos ina se pasakti sis doxologi.
αιώνας των αιώνων, αμήν, υπέρ ευλογημένη, υπάρχεις θεατό και παρθένε, δια γάρ του έξου σαρκωθέντος, ο άδης ηχμαλώτης ο Αδάμαν ακέκλητε, η κατάρα νεκρότε, η Εύα ηλευθέρωτε, ο θάνατος τε θανάτοτε και ημίς εζωπηθήμεν, διό ανυμνούντες βοβόμεν, ευλογητός Χριστός ο Θεός ημών, ο ούτος ευδοκίσας δόξασή. Thank you. 
Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. The Lord have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For peace of the whole world, for the stability of all the churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Archbishop and Father Savas, the Honorable Presbyterate for the Diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, for the President, for all those in public service, and for the armed forces everywhere, let us pray to the Lord. For this city, for every city and land, and for the faithful live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, necessity, and from the peril of the coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our brethren, those who lead the fight against the coronavirus, the doctors, the medical workers, and the scientists, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our all holy, pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Everything within me was his holy name. Ευλόγη ψυχή μου τον Κύριον και Κυρία 
Ιωάννα, Αγία, Αχράντου, υπερευλογημένη εν δόξα τη φίλη Σιμών Θεοτόκου και Άι Παρθένου Μαρία, με τα πάνω του μνημονίου έφυσαν δε σε αυτού και αλλήλου και πάσαν την ζωή νημών. Πιστώ το Θεό παραθώ με δά. Ότι σαν το κράτο και σου έστειλε η βασιλεία και η δύναμη και η δόξα του πατρό και του ιού και του αιού πνεύματο νυν και αή και ει του αιώνα των αιωνών. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our all holy, pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life. To Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. For you, O God, are good and love mankind, and to you we offer glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us greatly rejoice and be glad in it. Let the heavens sing for joy and let everything on earth be glad. For with his arm the Lord has worked power. He trampled death underfoot by means of death. And he became the firstborn from the dead, from the mole of hate. And he granted the world his great mercy. And a 
εσάτωσαν αυτόν οι ουρανοί και η γη εφρενές το τα ουρανία αγαλία στο τα επίγεια ότι επί σε κράτος εν βραχίου μη αυτού ο Κύριος επάτησε το θανάτο των θανάτων πρωτό το κοστό νεκρό νεγένετο εκηλία σάδου ερίσα το ημάς και παρέσχε το κόσμο το μεγα ελεός Wisdom Arise Come let us worship And bow down before Christ Save us, O Son of God Risen from the dead And he became the firstborn from the dead. From the mall of Hades he delivered us. And he granted the world his great mercy. Τι μάρτυρε σου, κύριε, τι αθλήσει αυτόν. Στεφάνου σε κομίσα το τη αυθαρσία εξού του Θεού. Έτραψαν και δαιμόνων τα ανίσχυρα θράση Αυτόν τεσί και εσύ εσ Χριστέ ο Θεός Σώσοντας ψυχάς ημών Ευλογή το εσύ Χριστέ protection of Christians unshameable intercessor to our holy maker unwavering reject not the prayerful cries of those who are in sin instead come to us for you are good your loving help bring unto us who are crying in faith to you hasten to intercede and speed now to supplicate as a protection for all time. Let us pray to the Lord. Ότι αιώσι ο Θεός ημών και σι την δόξαν αναπέμπομεν το πατρί και το ιό και το αιώ πνεύματι 
Nin ke ai ke istu se onas tu nei onon. Πατρικών μου παραδόσεων, ποτέ δε βδόκησε ο Θεό. Ο αφορή σα με κοιλία μητρό μου και καλέ σα δια τη χάρη αυτού αποκαλύψε τον ιόν αυτού ενεμή. Ή να ευαγγελίζομαι αυτόν εν τη έθνεση. Ευθέως σου προσάντε μην σαρκή και αίματι, ουδέ ανήλθον εις ιερός όλημα προς του προεμού Αποστόλους, 
αλλά πήρθον εις Αραβίαν και πάλιν επέστρεψα εις Δαμασκόν. Έπειτα μετά τρία έτη ανήλθον εις Ιεροσόλυμα ιστορίσε Πέτρον και επέμεινα προς αυτόν οι μέρες δεκαπέ. Let us be attentive. Sing praises to God, sing praises, sing praises to our King, sing praises. O clap your hands, all you nations, shout to God with the voice of rejoicing. Wisdom. The reading is from Paul's letter to the Galatians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, I would have you know that the gospel which was preached by me is not man's gospel. For I did not receive it from man, nor was I taught it. But it came through a revelation of Jesus Christ. For you have heard of my former life in Judaism, how I persecuted the church of God violently and tried to destroy it. And I advanced in Judaism beyond many of my own age among my people. So extremely zealous was I for the traditions of my fathers. But when he who had set me apart before I was born and had called me through his grace, was pleased to reveal his son to me in order that I might preach him among the Gentiles. I did not confer with flesh and blood, nor did I go up to Jerusalem to those who were apostles before me. But I went away into Arabia, and again I returned to Damascus. Then after three years I went up to Jerusalem to visit Cephas, and remained with him fifteen days. But I saw none of the other apostles except James, the Lord's brother. Irini si tuana yinos kundi, peace be to you, the reader. Καταφυγής του σώσαμε. Αλληλούια, αλληλούια, αλληλούια. Σοφία, ορθία, κουσμέν του Αγίου Ευαγγελίου, ειρήνη πάσιν. Εκ του κατά Λουκάν Αγίου Ευαγγελίου τον άγνωσμα προσχωμέν. Δόξα Συ Κύριε, δόξα Συ. Είπεν ο Κύριος άνθρωπος της, της ειμπλούσιος και ενε δίδεσκόπο δι, δι, θύραν και δίσον εφρενόμενος και αθημέρα λαμπρός. Το χως δε της είναι ο νόμα τη Λάζαρος, ως ευεύλητο προς τον πυλόν αυτού, ηρκωμένους και υπί τη θυμόν <coughs> χορταστήνε από τον ψυχίον και των πιτών των από τις τραπέζεις του πλουσίου. Αλλά οι κύενες χερχόμενων απέληκτων και έλκοι αυτού έγινε το δε από θανήν, το πτωχόν και επανεκθύνε αυτόν υπό των αγγέλων εις τον κόπον Αβραάμ. Απέθαινε δε και ο πλούσιος και τάφη και εν το άδειε πάρα στον αυθαμούς αυτού υπάρχον εν βασάνις ο οράτο Αβραάμ από μακρόθεν και λάζρον 
εν της κόπης αυτού. Και αυτός φωνή σα είπεν, Πάτε Αβραάμ, λέησόν με και πέμψον Λάζαρον, ή να βάψει το άκρον των δακτύλων αυτού ύδατος, και καταψύξει την γλώσσα μου, ότι οδυνόμε εν τη φλόγη ταυτή. Είπε δεύραμ τέχνον, νηστητή ότι επέλαβε στη σύτα αγαθά σου εν τη ζωή σου και λάζρο νομιός τα κακά νυν δε ο δε παρακαλείτε σι δε ο δυνάσε και επί πάσα τούτης μεταξύ ημών και ημών χάσμα μέγα στήριρκε όπως οι θέλοντας διαβήνε έθε προς ημάς μην δίνονται μη δε οι εκείθεν προς ημάς διεπερώσιν είπε δεν ερωτώουν σε πάτε είναι πέμψας αυτόν εις τον οίκον το πατρός μου έχω γα πέντε, πέντε αδεφούς όπως διαμαρτυρείστε αυτής ή να μη και αυτή έρθωσιν εις τον τόπον τούτον της βασάνου λέγει αυτό Αβραάμ έχουσι Μωυσέα και τους προφήτες ακουσά το σαν αυτό ο δε είπεν ουχή πάτε Αβραάμ αλλά αν της από νεκρών πορευτεί προς αυτούς μετανοήσουσιν είπε δε αυτόν η Μωυσέος και το προφητόν ουκ ακούσουσιν ουδέ αν της εκ νεκρών αναστή πιστήσονται The readings from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Let us be attentive. The Lord said, There was a rich man who was clothed in purple and fine linen and who feasted sumptuously every day. And at his gate lay a poor man named Lazarus, full of sores, who desired to be fed with what fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. The poor man died and was carried by the angels to Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried, and in Hades, being in torment, he lifted up his eyes and saw Abraham far off and Lazarus in his bosom. And he called out, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus to dip the end of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am in anguish in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember that you in your lifetime received your good things, and Lazarus in like manner evil things. But now he is comforted here, and you are in anguish. And besides all this, between us and you a great chasm has been fixed, in order that those who would pass from here to you may not be able, and none may cross from there to us. And he said, Then I beg you, Father, to send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, so that he may warn them, lest they also come into this place of torment. But Abraham said, They have Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. And he said, No, Father Abraham, but if someone goes to them from the dead, they will repent. He said to them, If they do not hear Moses and the prophets, neither will they be convinced. 
If someone should rise from the dead, Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Um, again, in countless times, we fall down before you and we implore you, a good one who loves mankind, that you, having regarded our prayer, may cleanse our souls and bodies from every defilement of flesh and spirit and grant to us to stand before your holy altar of sacrifice, free of guilt and condemnation. Grant also, O God, to those who pray with us progress in life, faith and spiritual understanding. Grant that they may always worship you with awe and love, partake of your holy mysteries without guilt or condemnation, and be deemed worthy of your celestial kingdom. That always guarded by your might, we may ascribe glory to you, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages.
May the Lord our God remember all of you in his kingdom, always now and forever and to the ages of ages. complete our prayer to the Lord. For the precious gifts here presented, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For that which is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. This, o Lord. And let us ask for a Christian end to our life, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Commemorating our all-holy, pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever-Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Ages. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us love one another that with oneness of mind we may confess. the doors in wisdom let us be attentive I believe in one God the Father Almighty creator of heaven and earth 
and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, to whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from the heavens and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us on the Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into the heavens and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets, in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and a life for the age to come. Amen. Let us stand aright, let us stand in awe. Let us be attentive that we may present the holy offering in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. things we thank you in your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit for all things that we know and do not know for blessings manifest and hidden that have been bestowed on us we thank you also for this liturgy which you have deigned to receive from our hands even though thousands of archangels and myriads of angels stand around you the cherubim and seraphim six winged many eyed soaring aloft upon their wings singing the triumphal hymn proclaiming exclaiming and saying This is my body which is broken for you for the remission of sins. Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Piete ex aptu pandes tu tu esti to emamu to atis genis diathikis to iperimon ke peloni ki no menon isafesina martion.
Sasai con son si prospero men. Kata panda ke dia panda, your own of your own, we offer to you in all and for all. Once again, we offer to you the spiritual worship without the shedding of blood, and we beseech and pray and entreat you. Send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon the gifts here presented, and make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. That which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Sereto es hispana y es sacrando y perfló y meni sendo su desminísimo en feo toco que hay por tenu María. Among the first, remember Lord Archbishop and Father Savas, grant him to your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health and the length of days, rightly teaching the word of your truth. And remember those whom each one of us has in mind and all the people. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your all honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. And may the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. And with your spirit. And with your spirit. Eto pros que me estendam, que aí estendam de mim andoram, te queria o Deus, amém. Oh, pois o filado por seu Simão e pros extámeros, aftai isto aí, em que é perurado, em que é no herón, a tu tis e estirion, e sus miram do dias prevmáticos. A ti que te pem, se me entendi da carim, que é te doreanto aí o pneumatos de isto, amém. Ino ati tati spis Dios ke tin kinonia tu ayu pneme to se ti sameni e aftus ke alilus ke pasen tin zui nimon Cristo te teo para thome tham.
και καταξίωσαν ημάς δέσποτε με τα παρησία σαν κατακρίτως το μάνα πικαλίστε σε του ρε τον Άνιον Θεόν Πατέρα και λέγειν Πάτερ ημών ο εν της ουρανής αγιαστείτε το όνομά σου εθέτει η βασιλεία σου γεννηθείτε το θάλημά σου ως εν ουρανό και επί της γης τον άτο ημών του Ιβιούσιον δώσει μην σημερών και άφησε μην τα αφημήματα ημών ως και η λύση αφήμε της οφηλέτης ημών και εμείς οι γενέγες ημάς τους πειρασμών Αλλαρίσε ημάς από το πονήρου Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. Master makes food the beneficial work for us all, whatever lies ahead according to the need of each. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, heal the sick physician of our souls and bodies. Through the grace, compassion, and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and forever, into the ages of ages. Let us be attentive, the holy gifts for the holy people of God. Taya tisayis, shetaya shetim. the Son yeah, of the living bit. God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, in knowledge or in ignorance, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the remission of sins and for eternal life. Amen. Behold, I approach for divine communion, O Maker. Burn me not as I partake, for you are fire consuming the unworthy, but cleanse me from every stain. O Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but like the thief I confess to you, Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. Tremble, O man, as you behold the divine blood. It is a burning coal that sears the unworthy. The body of God both defies and nourishes me. It defies the spirit and wondrously nourishes the mind. You have smitten me with yearning, O Christ, and by your divine arrows you have changed me. But burn up with spiritual fire my sins and grant me to be filled with delight in you so that leaping for joy, I may magnify, O good one, your two comings. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I should dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my vesture will condemn me, since it is not a winding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. 
Cleanse, O Lord, the filth of my soul and save me, as you're the one who loves mankind. Master who loves mankind, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my judgment because I am unworthy, but rather for the purification and sanctification of both soul and body and the pledge of the life and kingdom to come. It is good for me to cleave unto God and to place in Him the hope of my salvation. O Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss, as did Judas. But like the thief, I confess to you, remember me, Lord, in your kingdom.
the fovu theo peace theos ke agapis pro selfete with the fear of God, with faith and with love, draw near.
Sos no teos no laon su ke vloi son tingli no mi ansu. O God, save your people and bless your inheritance. forever into the ages of ages. Having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly life, creating and awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect holy, peaceful, and sinless day. Let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To thee, o Lord. For you are our sanctification, and to you we give glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord who blesses those who bless you and sanctifies those who put their trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power. And forsake us not who have set our hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to our civic leaders, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from you, the Father of lights. To you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages.
Beloved, we have the one-year memorial of our departed brother, Theodosius Pandalidis. Uh, we ask for your prayers, uh, along with the family, for uh, his eternal rest and for the salvation of his soul. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. The choir of the saints has found the fountain of life and the door of paradise. May I also find the way through repentance. I am the sheep that is lost, O Savior. Call me back and save me. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. O Lord, you created me from nothing and honored me with your divine image. But when I disobeyed your commandment, you returned me to the earth from which I was taken. Lead me back again to your likeness, so that the ancient beauty may be refashioned. <laughs> Ικτέρισον τον σοπνάσμα δέσποτα και καθάρισον σιές πλαχνία και την πόθηνην πατρίδα παράσχουμι παραδείσου πάλιν ποιον πολίτην με. Ευλογητός η Κύριε διδαξόν με τα δικαιώματά σου ανάπαυσον ο Θεός των δούλων σου και κατάταξον αυτόν επαραδείσον όπου χωρί των Αγίων Κύριε και οι δίκαιοι εκλάμψου σύνος φωστήρες των και κοιμημένων δούλων σου ανάπαυσον παρορών αυτού πάντα τα εγκλήματα. The Father without beginning, the co-eternal Son, and the Divine Spirit. Illumine us who worship you in faith, and deliver us from eternal fire. Can in gain gaze to seon as to neon on a min. Here is a new theos architecus is pandon sotirian. This genos don anthropon evra tot in sotirian. Δια σου ευρυμέν παράδεισον, Θεοτό και αγνή ευλογημένη. Αλληλούια, 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 δόξα Σύ ο Θεός. Μετά των Αγίων Ανάπαυσον Χριστέ την ψυχή του Among the spirits of the righteous, perfected in faith, give rest, O Savior, to the soul of your servant. Bestow upon it the blessed life which is from you, O loving one. Give rest, O Lord, where all your saints repose. Give rest also to the soul of your servant, for you alone are immortal. Δόξα πατρί και ο και αγίο πνεύματι, ο Θεός ημών, ο καταβασής αδύν, και τα σωδίνας λύσας των πεπεδημένων, αυτός και την ψυχήν του δούλου σου, σώτερ ανάπαυσον. Of ages, Amen. You, the only pure and spotless Virgin, who inevitably gave birth to God, intercede for mercy and forgiveness of the soul of your servant. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Here, 
Eleison, Kyrie Eleison, Kyrie Eleison. Again we pray for the repose of the soul of the departed servant of God, Theodosius, and for the servants, Haralambos, Alexander, Theokaris, Panayota, Panayota, Ioannis, Anthrimo, Theodosius, Tsomen, and for the forgiveness of their every transgression, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. May the Lord God place their souls with the righteous repose. Let us ask for the mercies of God, the kingdom of the heavens, and the remission of their sins. Let us ask of Christ, our immortal King and God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord mercy. O God of spirits and of all flesh, you have trampled upon death and have abolished the power of the devil, giving life to your world. Grant rest to the soul of your departed servant, Theodosio, and your servants, Hararam, Alexandras, Neokari, Paneyotas, Paneyotu, Ioannu, Anthimu, Theodosio, and Tzomen, get Tzomen, and place them, O Lord, in a place of light, Amen. in a place of repose, Amen. in a place of refreshment, uh, where there is no pain, sorrow, or suffering. As a good and loving God, forgive every sin that, he, that they have committed in word, in deed, or in thought, for there is no one who lives and does not sin. You alone are without sin. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your word is truth. But this is an ass, this is a week, and you know, I've seen to keep you many dulles to Theodosio, get on dulon to Theum, Carambo, Alexander, Steocar, Panayotas, Panayotu, Ioannis, Antimo, Theodosio, Somen, Christeo, Theosimo, Kissing Dogs, and a Pambo, man, Sintonax, Patrick, the Panayo, Kagatokis, of Yosip Nev, Matininke, Aikes, Seon, Astoneon. May your memory be eternal, dear brother, and worthy of blessedness ever left in memory. We're not done with the liturgy yet. No worries. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. This is the day that the Lord has made. We, uh, besides the liturgy itself, which of course we know we do kind of repetitively week after week, did anyone notice what was similar within the liturgy from, that, from last week to this week? Did anyone, can anyone uh, tell me what it was? Besides the actual words of the liturgy, outside of that, yes. The epistle was exactly the same, yes. The epistle was exactly the same from last week to this week. Now that's a little strange. Why would the epistle be 
uh, different from one week to another whenever we're doing these kinds of things. Okay? It's because there are some epistles that are given to us in the weekly cycle of the Gospel of Luke, and then there are epistles that accompany that as we, as we read from those Gospels. Then, that's this week. This week's epistle is actually the, the epistle for the week that it coincides with uh, the fifth uh, Sunday of Luke. This is, what, this is the, the epistle that goes along with the fifth Sunday of Luke. And we're jumping around in Luke. If you notice, last week we did the sixth Sunday, uh, and then we're going to jump ahead to like the 13th Sunday at some point. Like, we're ju we jump around in Luke. There's a reason for that. I don't have time to explain that this week. But just know that it happens. But last week, we heard the exact same epistle. Why? Because it was the feast day of St. Iacovus, the brother of God. And he's mentioned in that place in that epistle and that's why it was mentioned so just just to keep your ears open in case you were saying hey wait I, I wanted a different Bible reading I wanted a different uh, epistle reading I wanted a different this I wanted a different that that's what what is happening so sometimes the day of the month or the feast day of the day meaning Saint Iacob was the brother of the Lord or Saint James the brother of the Lord is uh, you know that epistle takes precedent on that day than just saying it's the whatever Sunday after the gospel of whatever. You know, so it's, it's, it's uh, a different um, kind of thing that happens. And I mention these things to you because I want, you know, it's important for us to pay attention to those kinds of things. When the epistle is being read, when the gospel is reading, being read, the words are what? Proskomen. Proskomen. Pay attention. Pay attention, right? When the, when, the, when the scripture readings are being read, there's a few times that that word proskomen is being said at all times. Normally, it's not me that's saying it. It's normally the deacon that's saying it. But nevertheless, uh, you know, uh, but nevertheless, we have, we, we're being told, hey, psst, wake up, listen. And if there was a time in our lives that the Lord is trying to tell us, wake up and listen, it's for the gospel that we're hearing today. It's for the gospel. The story of the rich man and Lazarus. Okay? And I need to change our view. I've said this before. I'm going to continue to repeat it. When God spoke this parable in the gospel of Luke, it actually is not a parable. I just, said, I just misspoke right now. When, God said this when Jesus said this story in the Gospel of Luke, it doesn't say the Lord spoke this parable. Any other time when Jesus is telling us a parable, in other words, a story that's not true, but he's just using it as an illustration, G the Gospel writer tells us, Matthew, Mark, or Luke especially, because that's where we get most of the parables, It'll say, the Lord spoke this parable. Ipenokirios tin paravolin taftin. This is what it precedes those words. But that is not what is in this gospel today. It just said, the Lord said. If we assume it's a parable, we are making an assumption outside of the writing of the gospel. By the negation of those words, we need to assume that this story actually happened, actually took place. And those are not my words, by the way. Those are the words of St. John Chrysostom. St. John Chrysostom was the one that reminded us this is not a fake story or an illustration given by Jesus that didn't happen like the publican and the Pharisee, right? Like the story of the prodigal son, like the parable of the Good Samaritan. Those are all parables. This one, there really was According to Christ, a person named Lazarus, not the sister, not the brother of Martha and Mary, different Lazarus. And this story existed according to the words of St. John Chrysostom and according to the church, according to the scripture. This is what we have. So when we reread this, because I'm not going to go through the whole story, when we reread this parable or this story, I did it again. Listen to that. It just, it just flows right there. When we reread this story, we cannot read this as if it's like, wow, he's just trying to make a point. No. When we read this, we are giving an account 
of what can befall us if we are not careful. And when we see this story, and when we understand the message that is within this story, there are lots of different things to talk about. The Gospel of Luke makes mention, and you're going to hear it over and over again in the course of the next two months. On the way to, on the way to Christmas, you are going to hear over and over again the danger of being rich. I'm going to let that one sink in and that will stew over the course of the, of the next few months because you will hear this theme over and over and over and over again. But make no, make no mistake, Luke tells us in many different ways that if you are rich, there is a danger. It's not just being rich is a danger. It's if you are rich, there is a danger. Okay? But more importantly, in this particular gospel, the thing that is so unique about this story is that we get to see what happens beyond two deaths. The death of Lazarus and the death of the rich man. There's really no other story that describes in detail like this what happens beyond death at least according to Christ at that time. Remember, he hasn't uh, resurrected yet. So this is at least an account of what was being experienced in some ways prior to the resurrection. And what we see is that this little mini judgment that was taking place allowed for Lazarus to ascend into the bosom of Abraham and allowed for the rich man to... Uh, you know, kind of, not, I shouldn't say ascend. He, he was in the bosom of Abraham and the rich man was perishing. Perishing. He says, he says, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus to dip the end of his finger in water and cool my tongue for I am in anguish in this flame. We are not making these words up when we talk about the torments beyond death for those of us who are not trying to ascend to a life of virtue the way Jesus is asking us to. We're not making, we're not, uh, we're not making some sort of hyperbole. This is out of the word of Jesus Christ. He's speaking to us. He is giving us a wake-up call. And in that wake-up call, for many of us, we feel like when there is a judgment, there is this point where we can say, no, 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 Jesus, you missed this in my life, or you missed that in my life, or you missed this in my life. No, 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 don't forget because I did this and this and this. But this isn't the words of the rich man. These aren't the words of the rich man. He's in, fl- he's in the flame. Notice how he doesn't say, oh, there's a mistake. I shouldn't be here. Notice how he doesn't say, hey, I was treated unfairly. Notice how he doesn't say, hey, wait a second. I'm not supposed to be here. Something went wrong. Those are not his words. His words are the acceptance of the judgment that he received. The words that we hear are the acceptance of a righteous judgment given that he indeed deserved what he received. That is the wake up call. And the only thing he wanted at that time was just a temporary, you know, break from the torment that he had received. It's not that God didn't love him. It's that he didn't love God. Which he showed by neglecting the person of Christ that was right in front of him in Lazarus. We need to understand in these times, in these times, that... This is not just some, some, some sort of like, oh, well, you know, the, Jesus just wants us to be good and be nice to people. 
No. There is something real about this. And we cannot miss it. We also need to understand in, the, in this process that it is not too late for us. For us, we're still drawing breath. There's still time. There's still an opportunity for these words to come into our hearts and our souls and make a difference, to make a change, to take us from a place where we were just neglecting, ah, I'll just do these things and it'll be okay. To, no, wait a second, there's something a little bit more seriously that I have to take hold of. And it's never too late. It's never too late to start as long as we are on this side. As the, as the, uh, the funeral, uh, the, the cemetery guy always says, I say, how are you? And he goes, I woke up on this side of the grass. <laughs> as long as that's where we are, there's a, there's a chance. There's a chance that we could get it right. I mean, you know, I still keep hoping and praying that I get it right, but I don't always. But the last thing that needs to be mentioned here with regards to this is the fact that Jesus already knew in this parable, Jesus already knew or not in this story, I'm sorry. Jesus already knew. I did it again. He already knew that people would not believe that he rose from the dead. He already understood and he made sure that that was something that was mentioned in this story as he spoke it to the people surrounding him that he was preparing himself to raise from the dead and he was preparing himself for the most of the world not to believe him. So we can be this. We can be these individuals. We can be those individuals who say, ah, you know, it's okay. That's good enough. You can take it seriously over here. I'm just going to kind of do my thing over here. And we can take those words of Jesus Christ and we can take them with a, quote, grain of salt. Or we can understand that our Lord is truly being serious to us today. That he's truly trying to wake us up. That he's truly trying to help us understand that there is a better and more holy and more virtuous way to live our lives. Starting with myself, I'm the first one that has to. And that we need to take that to heart. To know that what Christ did is not just some myth somewhere that's nice to read in a good book once in a while. But he truly exists. Truly is alive in our hearts as we have received him today. Truly is alive in the people that we are about to approach throughout our day and throughout our week. Truly is alive in the words that are telling us to wake up and find him. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please rise. Glory, page 77. Let us pray to the Lord. And then the next page, and then the next page. May the blessing of the Lord and His mercy come upon you through His divine grace and love always, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, O God. Glory to you. May he who rose from the dead, Christ, our true God, through the intercession of his all immaculate and all blameless Holy Mother, by the power of the precious and life-giving cross, protection the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, supplication the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, holy glorious and praiseworthy apostle, the holy glorious triumphant martyrs of our righteous and God-bearing fathers, the holy of our Father among the saints, John Christus, the Archbishop of Constantinople, whose liturgy we celebrate, the holy righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of St. Joseph the Patriarch of Constantinople, Cleopas and Artemis of the Seventy Apostles, and of Zenovios and Zenovia the Martyrs, whose memory we commemorate today, and of all the saints, 
May the Lord have mercy on us and save us. For he is a good and merciful God who loves mankind. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. May the Holy Trinity bless, protect, and keep all of you. Please be seated. Good morning, everyone. Sorry for pushing you guys back in the, in the thing. It, liturgy wasn't over yet, and I'm not interested in having people to pay to hear my sermons. Although if you like them that much, I prepared a second one. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. Uh, on behalf of the, the uh, uh, Pendelides family, we thank all of you in their extended family, really. Uh, we, uh, we thank all of you for uh, praying for Theodosius uh, one year. For Theodosius, uh, it, it is a, a, a sad thing when we lose someone, but it is a joy when we can come together and pray uh, and, uh, and, give, and, and, and honor their memory. Uh, so we uh, certainly will uh, uh, thank, we certainly thank all of you for that. We'll bless the food in just a, a moment for coffee hour uh, and, and that in his honor. We um, have all kinds of wonderful things uh, going on this week. Um, uh, next Sunday, just before I start talking about this week, next Sunday is our stewardship luncheon. It is our parish council elections. It is our parish assembly, our general assembly meeting. All of those things are happening next Sunday. It is also move your clocks back Sunday. Okay? It is also move your clocks back Sunday. Okay, so Saturday night, you gotta, you gotta remember to move your clocks back an hour. All right? Otherwise, you're gonna come to church way too early. You don't wanna do that, right? You don't wanna come for Orthros, do you? <laughs> you wanna come to Orthros. Lord have mercy, it's such a beautiful service. It's like the service that everyone misses. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's a, it's a beautiful way to set my soul up for, for the divine liturgy. It's such a wonderful thing. Anyway, um, I probably shouldn't have mentioned it, but it, it's okay. Uh, we, will have, we will have all of that next Sunday. We certainly uh, uh, want all of your attendance. Um, all the members in good standing can come and vote. Um, and we will be talking about a few wonderful things that, that are going on uh, and things that, that we need to kind of band together as a parish for. So, that in mind... Um, we wanted to just uh, continue to uh, announce that we have our speaker coming, not this coming Saturday the 5th, but the following Saturday the 12th. Please, if you are planning on coming, just for our sake, uh, so we can kind of get it, try to get a head count, please call the office and give your name and how many people might be coming to Lori so that we can get an idea. Um, I, we know that there's people coming as far as from Cleveland. I know for sure people are coming from Cleveland. I've ar we've already gotten uh, RSVPs from people up there. This, this lady, Presitera, Dr. Presitera uh, Evgenia Costandino, has already announced that she's coming here on her podcasts. So people know, you know, people know, and there might be people coming from farther away. Uh, you know, we don't know. So, but again, this is, this is the kind of lady that she is. Do not miss it. Uh, if you if you can't uh, if you can't make it, we'll do whatever we can to try to see if there's a way to um, put it together uh, in a video or something that we can uh, that we can show. But but again, it's better if you're there. It's really just better if you're there. Uh, and we want to do more of these. We want to do more of these. So uh, keep that in mind. Um, uh, just for your own purposes, uh, although it's a couple weeks away, um, just to keep in mind. This uh, year, 
being um, the year of a national clergy laity assembly, the, the, our metropolitan calls all the clergy to a clergy retreat. It's, this isn't like a clergy laity assembly the way we did it in September. This is a clergy retreat where we have ongoing education uh, given we have a speaker that comes and all the rest of these things. That will happen actually the week after uh, she comes. Um, and also she's going to come, she's going to preach here on Sunday as well. Prajita Dajini is gonna, go, going to uh, preach here on Sunday. She'll, she'll be giving the sermon on Sunday. But the, the day after all of the clergy of the metropolis, of our metropolis, will be going to um, the Holy Protection, Ayi Eskepi Monastery in the Poconos. Uh, we are going to spend time with Yorondisio Olimpiada and her sisterhood. Uh, they put us up there every, uh, every other year uh, during that period of time. This year's speaker, uh, I know you're jealous, is our former Archbishop uh, Demetrius, who is just an absolutely gem. Um, the man is 93 years old, 94 years old. Uh, even though he moves around a little bit more slowly when he speaks, he's as sharp as a tack, and uh, he'll be he'll be uh, speaking to us as well. So I can't wait to bring back some gems from him uh, to all of you, because uh, it's just such a it's just such a joy to have him. So that so I'll be gone the first three days of that week, and just keep in mind again as as house blessings are over, um, the the work the weekday worship schedule is going to start to ramp up a little bit. Um, so we're going to have liturgy for St. Nectarios next week. Um, we're going to actually we'll have his paraclesis in the evening that night and we'll be showing the movie Man of God um, uh, that evening after paraclesis. So if you have not seen it or if you want to see it, oh by the way, somebody actually mentioned to me that they actually had the DVD because I was going to buy it and they told me not to. Uh, so if you, if you do have it or know somebody that has the DVD, let me know or bring it so that we can show it because I was ready to purchase it and, and somebody told me not to and it slipped my mind who it was. So if you know of somebody or, you know, whatever or can acquire it, let me know so that we can, so that we can play that. Otherwise, um, I have to, uh, you know, scrounge around to find it uh, from somebody. Last thing, and I forgot to announce this last week, no, Deacon Michael did not leave us. He didn't. Um, he is actually in Lebanon. As we speak, he is in Lebanon at the, at the Balaman Seminary. Um, he is spending some time there. That's uh, the, kind of like, he, he keeps talking about how he had studied there at one point in time in his life. He just loves it over there. He took some time and he, he said, it, Father, I'll be gone for three Sundays. So this is the second one uh, that I'm missing him and out of breath by the time liturgy is over because... I miss having a deacon. This is, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a better liturgy when I have a deacon with me and, and I miss him uh, deeply. But he is, do, he is also getting his refreshment as well um, at the Balaman Seminary. So uh, I'm very pleased that he's getting that time. I, he'll be gone again next, uh, next Sunday as well. The, the sixth, he'll be gone as well. So is there anything else to announce? We'll bless the food in just a second. Something? No. Wonderful. Please rise. <clears throat> All together, glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and the age of the age of Christ our God, we ask that you bless the food and the drink of your servants, bless the hands that have provided for it, those that have labored to prepare it, and all of us that will partake of it. And, uh, and give rest to the soul of your departed servant Theodosius, in whose name and in whose honor we are partaking of it. For you are holy now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Please come forward to receive your blessing. <laughs> Και μη επιλάνθου πάσα τα σαν τα αποδόσεις αυτού Τον ευλήπα τεύοντα πάσα στα σανομία σου Τον ημένο πάσα στα σανόμου σου Τον λυτρούμενον εκ δωράς την ζωήν σου Τον στεφανούντας εν ελέη και ηχθυρμή Τον επιλώντα τε εν αγκαθείς την επιθυμία σου Ανακαινιστήσετε ως εαυτό η νεότη σου. Ποιον ελεημοσύνας ο Κύριος 
και κρίμα πάση τη αδικουμένη. Εγνώρισε τα σώτου αυτού του Μωησί, τη Ισραήλ τα θελήματα αυτού. Εκτήρμον και ελεήμον ο κύριο, μακρόθυμο και πολύ έλεο. Που και στέλο οργήσετε ουδέ στον αιώνα μηνύ. Τα σονομία Σιμών επίσαινε ημίν, ουδέ κατά τα σονομία Αμαρτία Σιμών αντεπέδω και ανημίν. Ότι κατά το ύψο του ουρανού από τη γη εκρατέωσε κύριο το έλεο αυτού επί του φοβουμένου αυτών. Τα σονομία επέκουσαν το λέω από τη Σιμών εκπακρίνε νεφιμών τα σονομία Σιμών. Καθώ η κτήρη πατήριου οπτέρεσε κυρίω του φοβουμένου αυτών. Ότι αυτό ζεχνώ το πλάσμα ήμων, εμνήστη ότι ακούσα με. Άνθρωπο σα η χόρτο σε ημέρα αυτού. Πω η ανθό του αγρού ούτε σε ξανθήσει. Ότι πνεύμα τη λίγα αυτό και ούκ υπάρξει και ούκ. Επιγνώσετε επί των τόπων αυτού. Το δέλεος του Κυρίου από του αιώνος και έως του αιώνος επί τους βαβουμένους αυτών. Και η δικαιοσύνη αυτού επί ουσιόντα της φυλάσσωση τη διαθήκη αυτού και μένει μένει στον εντολό τον αυτού του πείσε αυτάς. Κύριος εν το ουρανό ετοίμασε τον θρόνον αυτού και η βασιλεία αυτού πάντων δεσπόζει. Ευλογείτε τον Κύριο πάντας οι άγγελοι αυτού δυνατοί οι σκύποι ούντας τον λόγον αυτού. Ευλογείτε τον Κύριο πάσε δυνάμεις αυτού Λειτουργία αυτού ποιούνται στο θέλημα αυτό. Ευλογείτε το κύριο πάντα τα έγκα του. Επατή φωτό φωτιστή τεσπότη αυτού. Ευλόγη ψυχή μου των κύριων. 